I'm going to show you a close-up of how I sand the gears and how nice this little setup works. And one other thing I should tell you when you're building yours, if, you're, if your lathe is as big as this one, the head is as big as this one, you want to maybe make this block of wood thicker so that your, your disc comes out a little further so that when you go, uh, when you sand this edge of the teeth, you have room here. I had put some spacers in here and if I had to do over again, I would have just added maybe two more pieces of plywood to this, um, to the block that holds the disc. Or another thing you can do is you can always build a, a bigger disc, use like eight inch, but a six inch disc, the papers are very inexpensive and you're basically just using the edge anyway. So it might as well be a small disc that you, you know, you change the paper more often if you can get by with it, but if I were to do a really big gear, I would have to space this out even further. So I'll probably remake this so that it's out maybe uh, another two, two or about two inches further, and then I'll be able to use it on any gear. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to show you how well it works. The camera is kind of in my way, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Now what I do, this is where my, my new circle is closer to the end of the teeth. I'm leaving the black line on where it does this, but where where the where it's right, then I take that black line off. And it'll make a really nice good gear that will work real well. And remember to take your time and have fun. That's what we're here for. And I wanted to show you a cup of tea I made because you need to do that every once in a while. Just make yourself a cup of tea or coffee and uh, have fun while you're doing this. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching. Make sure and subscribe so that you get my future videos. I plan to do quite a few more. One other thing I wanted to mention is the disc on the video appears to be wobbling. That's the sandpaper doing a optical illusion. It turns very true and it works very well. Thanks for watching.